I don't know if you've all heard this question. What's your name? Karen, uh, Karen is asking you whether it was a river or park that got away that I was sorry that I didn't get. I, and I, my response here is like, yeah, about a hundred of them. Oh, I did. Every time I go to the movies, I'd say, ah, jeez, how did you know, Is Al Pacino the only actor? <laughs> uh, I say uh, Al's name with a great deal of affection. He and I were great friends. We started out together. And uh, we're, we're still friends, and uh, it was like, uh, I, you know, my wife saw him in a play uh, before anyone else saw him and told us that he was going to be a major star. We said, what are you, are you talking about Little Al? We called him Little Al. And she said, oh, you watch, this guy is going to be big. And sure enough, she was right. So she never said the same thing about me. <laughs> No, but you know, you, you, yeah, well, I came up with Al and with Dustin Hoffman, and uh, De Niro was a bit later, but these were the major uh, lights uh, uh, while I was, uh, you know, in my 20s and 30s, and they were all great inspirations, particularly De Niro. I thought with his uh, performance in the boxing movie, uh, he played Jake LaMotta. Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Raging Bull. I, I wrote him a fan letter. I swear to God, I did. I saw it in Paris. I was doing that film there that I told you about in 81, and it had already won everything, and I, I just went to see it in a little French cinema one night, and I, I was so overwhelmed. I came out in the street, and I just wanted to tell everyone how wonderful they were, and uh, how great it was to be alive. And I went back to the hotel, and I wrote Robert De Niro a fan letter. And I told him how proud he made me feel to be in the same profession that would literally risk his life to make that statement. You know, what he said basically was, okay, mister, you can be selfish, you can, you can be egotistical, you can be jealous, you can be unforgiving, but here's what you're in for. You might end your life in a dark cell banging your head against the wall. It took an actor to do that. And I thought, my God, what a contribution. And I met him years later. I saw him in a play over in New York, and I asked to, to meet him backstage. And it was about six or eight years later, and uh, I waited in a little dressing room. He was playing at the public theater in a, in a play called Cuba and the Teddy Bear. And uh, he came into the room right after the performance, and he walked up to me and he said, thanks for the letter. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew he got it. <laughs> So he's one of my heroes. I think he's the greatest actor of my generation, although he's a bit younger. He looks older, but he's a bit younger. <laughs>